how a nuclear Mr. war will start President according to Kirk Gazat. I'm always so afraid to pronounce that. If somehow you're not subscribed already, please go do that. This guy's been one of my favorites for years. So I'm excited to see how he covers a topic that I feel deeply about. Our country in 14 now, just minutes. just recently... I know it's your first day in office, so I'm going to walk you through it. 14 but minutes. You'll be only one Is that still an accurate number, depending on where it's coming from? I don't believe he's going to use real-life countries here, because that's a little bit awkward. He would take a land-based missile about 30 minutes to fly, but a submarine-based missile anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. So this is if we're in a worst-case scenario. I mean, if there's a nuke in the air flying towards a <laughs> civilian city, then I guess it's a worst-case scenario. All right, let's see what we're going to do. Retaliation in response, and you've only got a few minutes to make a decision. <sighs> As you know, tensions have now, escalated rapidly. I think it's really important. I don't know if he's going to cover it, but the two instances that we did become almost in a nuclear war, or at least the two instances I think was the closest. With the 1983 situation with Stanislav Petrov, his early warning system reported false alarms, and he went against Soviet protocol to launch nukes in response. Then this man, I don't want to butcher his name, who was in a Soviet naval submarine in 1962, who voted against launching a nuclear torpedo during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So with those things in mind, we really got to use that as perspective. But in the past few days, do we know for a fact? Defense exercise began just minutes before we detected the launch. Do we a know for a misunderstanding? Maybe. Ah. Uh, oh, so it is happening. Is to neutralize as many of our nuclear forces as possible. Do we know though? Do we? Do we have eyewitnesses? Boom! Oh, there's millions in the sky. Okay, maybe not millions. There's hundreds of missiles in the sky. Honestly, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be the bigger man here. The bigger man is just let your country be destroyed, but not return the favor and destroy the world in turn. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. That doesn't matter now. You can't just take me air, out without me. can't shoot all of them down. One take you Why? out. Why? <laughs> because intercontinental ballistic missiles are basically rockets launched into space before re-entering the atmosphere over their target and releasing many different warheads. Another uh, thing to keep in mind too is how good is our anti-ICBM system right now? What is that called again? Ah, here it is. It was nicknamed as the Star Wars program. This was announced back in 1983, though. But I wonder if we have access to better technology now. Maybe there's something they're not telling us. I What's the problem with this situation? You can send after them. Uh, is there we some sort of to secret to the military technology that we don't know that can prevent those nukes from actually Here's what we know. landing? Four minutes ago, our new infrared monitoring satellites detected okay, 112 we have bursts those. consistent with ICBM launches from the okay. enemy's inner territory. Safe to say it's probably not a false alarm. 112? I would have let five go. Stanislav let five false alarms go, but 112? I don't know. Trace. For some reason, only 20 of their 80 underground nuclear silos seem to have fired, so hmm. we suspect most of them were transporter erector launches. You know. That's very interesting because we know the exact locations of where they were launched. I did a video like this responding to like a nuclear war video last week and I did consider like what if you just launched nukes at their nuclear centers? The problem is do we have them all identified? Probably not. And you're still dropping a nuke in another country. I don't know if that's really going to make a difference. Silos seem to have fired. I like this map though. This is interesting. So we don't really even know what's going on. We don't know these countries. So we suspect most of them were transporter uh, erector launches. Uh, you yeah. Know, trucks with big missiles on them. And we also did confirm like it could be from a sub submarine too. We can't do anything about that. It's unclear why they didn't use all their silos. They might just not work after more than dude, 30 years. Dude, this is a false alarm, dude. This is a false alarm. Reserve. The fog of war is keeping many things unclear. Oh. Aerospace Command thinks the ICBMs are targeting man, I, our I don't want to be the bigger man here. I, I just don't want to. But I think this video is probably going to tell you to just don't don't launch on the country that you might get destroyed. Uh, let's just see. Clear command centers, silos, and major air force and navy bases ending this war before we have a chance to act. Yeah. The enemy's strategic doctrine prioritizes I military think targets. It would be nice if we have just some sort of defense. Go all in for maybe some sort of secret technology. Hopefully there's something we can blow up these uh, ICBMs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the military is keeping from us. And we only have 14 minutes to even realize if there is some sort of defense system we can protect ourselves with. And our nuclear weapon systems. Let's just but let's get more of the targets are our industry and infrastructure. First of all, all I'm going to assume I've been briefed already when I became president all located near of a situation or in like major this. Population centers. Maybe I won't get all the details, but a lot of the, the details. Exact casualty count for a few weeks. Deaths from the blast and burns maybe a few million today. It's morning rush hour, and there's not much to be done for people stuck mm. in traffic. People in major I metro mean, areas can't really evacuate, but emergency broadcasts are being sent out to shelter. I feel like if we just don't launch and we just accept the huge L and accept our country just being obliterated, the world will see us as a martyr and get revenge for us. We'll just go down, sacrifice ourselves. Turn place and away from windows. 
Radiation exposure for attacked population centers is highly dependent on the weather over the next week. Yeah, we that's going to be looking at dozens of millions of deaths by the end of the month. That's going to definitely mess up our for the next few neighbors minutes, more than likely to respond. But that's a whole other aspect to decide. Let's see if I'm well, this guy's face is like right in, in, in my face. If I accept to just get nuked into oblivion, but then the winds carry over to Mexico, they're like, What the hell, man? They're like, Why didn't you drop the nukes too? We're, we're now gonna get whatever. We've got I can understand where they're coming across our silos, bombers, and submarines. The 400 and see, that's the thing. If you don't now, act now, you will not out. take your revenge. Six yeah. nuclear capable bombers on high alert can be ready to take off in two minutes, though we need to transmit the order right away to get them out of the blast radius if you want to consider see, using them. Of our 40 nuclear Here's the thing, you gotta you gotta pretend like yes, I will use them if I ever see nukes in the sky. But secretly, you probably don't want to. You probably just gotta be like, you know what? I don't wanna be responsible for destroying the world. Like, yeah, they started it, but if I finish it, then I'm finishing the whole world. You know what I'm saying? Your submarines, five are presently at sea. While they're submerged, they're undetectable. Nuclear so submarines. that's our backup for a nuclear retaliation if like, we lose our silos. Oh, and there bombers. you go. We could try to use them to bomb out their remaining silo fields before mm. they can launch them. The sooner you commit to it, I just... the better the chance we have of preventing a further exchange after our retaliation. Oh, that's true, Updates. too. We have radar I have heard theories that if you respond fast enough, then maybe your country won't be destroyed if you both launch nukes and, uh, you know, I don't I don't know about that. A confirmation that the enemy ICBMs have completed their burn and deployed their warheads. Okay, so Our this is not a false is that alarm, each missile probably. will deploy at least six re-entry vehicles, about 600 wow. in total, which wow. is the part that carries a warhead back into the atmosphere Jeez. during its terminal descent onto the maybe target. Maybe this doesn't matter, this little detail, but Russia does have a lot more nukes than the USA, at least from what is reported. I don't know how true that is. I mean, at the end of the day, we both have enough enough to destroy the world a couple times, so I guess it, it doesn't really matter. And with many more decoys on top of that, inflatable ah, balloons meant to waste any anti-missiles. We're now tracking nearly 4,000 potential targets. Our anti-ballistic missiles 4, have been launched and oh, will so begin the defense their system won't in even another work. minute. We'll do our best to protect the capital. So there is some defense, I see, I see. But clearly it's not going to work completely. Although there really is no defense. Hmm. Wait, confirming a partial radar blackout. Our systems seem to be glitchy. The okay, well that's a bad sign. How am I supposed to take any of this information to be reliable? <laughs> it's 2023, why are we having technology that's glitchy? I get 1983. Deceptors and pre-detonated a few warheads at high altitude. We don't get like antivirus on our and creates radar systems here. Our interceptors should still operate okay. They've had a 55% success rate in tests, but never with this many decoys or with radar interference this yeah. intense. We might shoot down 50 objects, so but there's no theory is their that warhead. they looks like conducted a false alarm and then they launched on us first. This is our last chance to counterattack. We're out of time. Our silo launch sequence takes uh, five minutes. We have to transmit and confirm a this launch is tough. order, and the missile needs time to clear the blast rate. I'm not a I'm not a good person under pressure. If you force me to make a decision, I'm gonna do nothing, <laughs> which is what I'm leaning towards right here. I don't know if that's the right move. I think it is personally. Yes, of the incoming bomb. I think it should be president because this is a lot to take I'm, in. I'm but gonna the come at it from is a... made. You just need to enter the launch authorization codes and push this button to transmit them. Yeah. You can't. It just goes against. You put all this pressure on me. I'm literally gonna freeze. And I think that's. I just think that's the right move. I, I'm just saying. I'm gonna be good. I got a presidential bunker to go into, anyways. Do anything else to save more of our people. If you don't launch. Now, uh, then this war will be over before it even begins. The argument this general is telling me is to launch now to save more of our people, which is funny and ironic, and I just, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying you it. You understand? This is our one chance, right? I don't see the what effect. that does. I mean, Enemy you're... civilian casualties are hard to estimate, but should be similar to ours. A few million right away, perhaps a few tens of million by the end of the month. I the mean, total fallout from the their thing is, there would be guys in the room nuclear winter, telling you, do it, do it, do it, do it. Billions around the world. But that might yeah, happen even if we don't nuclear retaliate. Winter. That's I'm true. Sure That's a good questions. point. Even if we don't retaliate, we still might end up destroying the world. But the chances would be less. That's Just, what I'm leaning on. But you have to give orders without expecting answers right now. Two with an attack left. of this scale, there's no guarantee communications or assets. Why am I in this room with in one dude? Minutes. I should have We're more information around me. We need a decision. Then again, this 15, 14 minutes, it's whoever's closest to me and just running to the White House, whatever. Yes, I know sir. I'm not even in the White House technically. Can we launch a fictional universe yeah um what this is reminding me of that dark scene that dark night scene when like both boats are trying to blow each other up that's exactly what we are pretty much in was this kind of like an allegory for nuclear war wars aren't regular wars hmm. they only last minutes and in times of crisis small conflicts can rapidly spiral out of control 
Yeah, Anything I'm, from small I'm banking on it. Lags to sensor errors to just uncertainty in the fog of war mean that no leader will ever have a complete idea of what's happening as a crisis unfolds. You can't. When tensions are high, accidents or misunderstandings can steer leaders, even those with. Yeah, where's the red phone? Apparently, there's a red phone, at least after the. Was it the Cuban Missile Crisis? Where the Soviet leader and the U.S. president could quickly talk to each other in case of emergencies like this. Good intentions to launch a nuclear. Because that's attack. what I'm doing. I'm gonna call my him with incomplete boy up. I mean, he's probably not my boy. He's kind of, she's trying to kill me. But <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just here. I'm gonna hear from his mouth. That would be interesting if he's like, yeah, yeah, we coming. We, we gonna destroy you. Oh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> Launch. Person. Yes, <laughs> it's really just one single person who decides can literally make civilization-ending decisions, killing hundreds of millions of nah, people. the aliens would save us. It takes to I'm banking on the aliens video. saving us. This story is fiction. But the world came very close to this several times. Oh, so we are going to talk in about those guys. Russian radar oh, this is not a submarine launch missile, and their nuclear forces this is a very went on full situation. alert. Except it was actually a scientific rocket. Ah, uh, this study is Auroras. about false alarms. In 1979, US. This is why it's good for to be be present. Please vote. I just I cannot see myself making the decision. I just wouldn't do it. But that's probably also the reason why I can't be president because I'm not good at making decisions. Boom, right there in the moment. As computers reported a full-scale Soviet attack with only minutes to respond, except it was a training tape being incorrectly loaded into a computer. Mm. In 1983, the Soviet satellite alert system uh, showed five ICBMs launched about. from the US, but it was a false alarm caused by sunlight reflected on clouds. During the Cuban missile What's crisis, crazy about this, I think they're telling us about a false alarm, is how, is there, was there a, there was a hundred launched? How did we have a hundred different false alarms? That's what I want to know. Maybe they'll get into it. With no contact to Moscow and this is also days, what we talked about. That nuclear war had begun and decided to launch a nuclear torpedo. We're thinking the same, we're thinking Luckily, the same. the authorization of three officers was required. Yeah, so two, and one then the them, one said Vasily no. Ashipov, opposed it. Ah, uh, here we go, he but pronounced it perfectly. what if he hadn't? Any safeguard can fail. No this is how. a scary situation. It's hard to tell with that situation in 62 what would have happened. In 83, that one probably would have ended the world. How carefully designed it might be. And decisions are being made right now to build new weapons and missile systems that commit the world yeah, to I another century of nuclear stalemate. We are doing more nukes further by China's all the emotions chaos. as a new nuclear superpower. Simply accepting that now the existence three. of nuclear weapons is inevitable might mean they. I'm gonna hope that Russia and China have a bit more communication than the USA and the other two. I would assume so. This is inevitable, but the world doesn't have to be this way. Even incremental steps, taking apart one bomb at a time, will eventually result in a world with none. Hmm. During the Cold War, the world had over 70,000 nuclear yeah, we weapons. Dropped down arms way traces, down. That number is now about 12,500. Yeah, that's crazy. The nuclear Progress DR, is not DR guaranteed, it. but it's also not impossible. Governments and militaries Shh. are not separate from their nations. It's a hard, this is a hard situation, you know, if this video was dropping like four years ago, no, actually just like two years ago, maybe a little bit easier, but things have gotten more difficult as of the last year. They're part of the tensions just like definitely you. You have the power to make demands of your leaders, and often this begins with just being aware of an issue. If you want to learn more, we've compiled a number of resources for you in the video description and our sources. Yeah, I definitely do not hear a lot of people talking about uh, nuclear dearmament anymore. I'm sure some people do, but it's not a super popular discussion. Like I said, it's weird because you kind of want to play the tough guy role like we will launch if we see something. In reality, I'm... I'm probably not going to do it. There's too many false alarms that's happened. What's also interesting about this situation, if I am leading the U.S. and I just let us get nuked, um, I can't even imagine the amount of people that would save on the Eastern Hemisphere. I, I'm sorry to say, but there's a lot more people that live over here. He did say that there's like nuclear submarines around, and because I'm going to be safe in the bunker, there's five nuclear submarines at any time. Maybe we see what happens. Maybe they do drop a hundred nukes on us. We, they destroy the U.S. I could still make a call and be like, you know what? I changed my mind. We still got those five nukes. We could wait like three days too, or however long. Oh, let's just do that then. Fine. <laughs> Again, that video is by Chris Kazap. Please go subscribe. Been waiting to discuss one of his videos for a long time. And big thanks to my patrons. Destiny Drew Ducker, Ducker 9000, Sebi, if you hear subscribe this, I love to Drew you. Now. I am the kidnapper. A fat Norwal. Carmel S. No one pays Inquisitor Zarius. Marina is best AI. girl. Luxembourg 5610. Robert E. Rye the Pie. The Great Ralphie. The Mexican Twicken 760. Zane Denver. Glad Ryan, and Dad. Jack Traven's annoying friend. And why am I doing this?